Um, we're going to talk about uh, cleaning uh, water storage tanks in your water plant. First of all, you need to make sure you got all your materials. You're going to need a pressure washer, uh, wet dry vac, you're going to need all your chemical handling equipment, PPE, equipment, uh, apron, That's all. gloves. You should be doing this cleaning at least once a year. And depending on staining of your tank, you might want to think about doing more than once a year. Any tools you're using inside the tank should be disinfected with your chlorine spray. Uh, you don't want to risk any cross-contamination of any tools or equipment that you put inside the tank. It should always be disinfected before you're using any tools inside your tank. So first of all, what we got to do is remove all the water from this. Uh, so we stick a, a pump in there, submersible pumps in there to pump all the water, or if we got access to a drain, we use that as well. Um, first of all, what we got to do, once the water's all been drained out here, we start the vacuum and pressure wash, give everything inside a quick rinse that includes your floats and any other transducer equipment that may be inside the tank. Once it's been rinsed, you will use a chemical cleaner, either filter fit or filter clean. And what that does is it'll eat away any mineral buildups inside the tank, calcium, iron, manganese, it'll help uh, remove them from the tank walls. Once you spray down your cleaner in the tanks, you have to give it 15 to 20 minutes sit time. And then once you've done that, then you got to put your vacuum in the suck of the bottom and you rinse everything starting from the top to get all the fluoride out. You want to make sure you get all that chemical cleaner out of there because it does uh, inactivate chlorine. So you got to do a really good rinse and vacuum it out really well. Once you've got to really rinse, you rinse it out again. Um, use the vacuum to re vacuum out any sludge on the bottom. Then we use our 200 part per million disinfection solution. Soak the whole inside starting from the top down so all your solution runs down the tank. And after that, the 20 minutes sit time with the chlorine, you can put the tank back in activation. And when you're done, depending on your jurisdiction, you should be doing an automatic back tea sample to your health authority. The filter clean or filter fit should only be used on poly tanks or fiberglass tanks. Uh, they cannot be used on concrete because it will cause a chemical reaction with the calcium in the concrete, causing pitting on your reservoir walls. Uh, another thing, you wouldn't want to use it on steel tanks because the fluorine is meant to dissolve mineral iron buildups. So, and some of the coatings that'll be inside of a steel reservoir are react heavily with the fluorine filter fit. And in those situations, you just, uh, from anything metal, concrete, use your pressure washer to give it the best rinse you can. Uh, rinse it to a drain and then use straight the chlorine disinfection solution to cover the entire entirety of inside the reservoir.